Bosch injector off a 30 horsepower Saab. Normally sit there in the head. If you turn the head upside down, that would just sit like that, the spraying into the into so the, the end of the injector is in between the two valves. In between the two valves, yeah, ready to fire into the bore. Um, we'll put this one over here now. And we'll show that one taken apart. Well, the other thing is, if you take the heads off and you've got the injectors still in them and they're clamped in, be really careful when you put it down that you don't damage the nozzle. So here's one that needs cleaning. Basically clean all the carbon off with a uh, light wire brush around there but avoid the nozzle. Clean off those threads. The easiest way of doing it, the manual tells you to put the injector and the clamp that way up. But it can be really easy to slip off that. So the easiest thing to do is put a tube spanner in, have it sat in and then use a large adjustable to uh, crack the thread. When you're taking them apart, everything's got to be absolutely spotlessly clean because they're a uh, precision part. So if you have a clean cloth ready for once a part to clean, and you take the end off, be really, really careful when you take it apart. You pop the nozzle out, leave your end cap in some diesel inside the injector. You've got one cap which just pops off like that. Again, that can go in the diesel. This end piece sits inside the spring, a little machine pin on the end of the needle inside the injector. Right. I'll show you that one in a second. That would sit on here, line the holes up. That would sit there and the end of that pin would come through. And this little piece here would then sit inside there and it would locate itself on the end of the needle. So again, put that in the diesel. Inside the injector body itself, you've got a spring. Again, leave it in the diesel because you get muck and build up inside the, the coils of that spring and sometimes jellyfied fuel and then inside here you've got two little washers again they'll need to be cleaned and make sure that there's no bits of dirt on them they can sit inside the diesel the injector body itself go in the diesel and leave that to soak and then this part you've got your needle inside the nozzle of the injector so on a on a full injector that would be that part that's sat inside slope, that slope, sleeve slope, slope. yeah okay yeah With the pin, I haven't left that sat in the diesel because if there's any bits of grime in the diesel itself, it could damage the machining on the pin. So just a quick rinse onto a clean cloth. And then the nozzle itself let's get rid of some of the excess diesel. And then really important part is the spray pattern of the injector. And basically the diesel comes through the yeah, injector. Don't forget you've got to clean it out before yeah, you yeah, put it together. Yeah, okay? yeah, I'm going to Blow do that. Blow them out. 
the diesel comes through the injector under such high pressure that it basically the needle would lift and allow the fuel to go through and it would atomize it through tiny tiny little holes hold it steady hold it steady hold it steady i'm zooming in i'm zooming in i'm zooming in still in focus beautiful absolutely beautiful outside of focus okay we got it the easiest way of cleaning them is with just some copper wire which we've stripped from just an ordinary bit of wire I think the manual says 025 millimeter wire. Right, now I'm zooming in really, really close. I'm something like an inch away now. Okay, shoot. Okay. And what you need to do is look around the nozzle. You can see the holes. And you'll find the holes. And with your wire, let me just move this light. You would want to. Hang on. Uh, that better? Got it. Yeah, as you were. And what you'd want to do is just insert the wire into the holes. It's a bit bendy and fiddly, but you'll feel it go inside. And all I've done is give it a quick swirl around, pull it back out move around to the next one and find the hole and insert the wire again there you go so that's the second one there should be four holes on these injectors and they're all around the edge none it doesn't have a central one on top so you'd go around them You'd put your wire in a couple of times, make sure that that hole's clear, and you'd find the next one. Right, I want to stop just yep. there, stop just there, hold it dead still, dead still, dead still. No, that's as close as it goes. Okay, we've got yep. full screen here. I mean, that's going to take up everything. So shoot, keep going. So you insert the wire, and what you'll find is that often these holes are clogged up, so your spray pattern isn't going to be ideal so you're not going to get the right amount of fuel you'll get lumpy running you may struggle to start in some cases if it's really really badly blocked and it'll also affect the uh, idle of the engine you'll find it'll, it'll uh, maybe start to hunt like a petrol engine would where the revs would be up and down up and down up and down because it's not getting the right amount of fuel to the air ratio so we take that out again, find the next one, which is the... Barry, we don't need all, all of them. All of them. No, don't worry. So once you've done that, once you've cleaned that, there's a couple of things you can do. Just some well-known brand. Pop the straw all the way in. And you should see the spray pattern. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Got that. Once you've done that, get yourself an airline. If you haven't got one, you can probably just use a WD-40. As long as you've got the spray coming out of all four holes, you can use an airline then to pop it in. And just give it a quick blow out to make sure there's no muck or dirt. <laughs> Should see the floor behind you. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to blow that, make sure there's absolutely nothing. Stop, stop there, stop there. Right, got it. Nice. So you want to make sure there's nothing in those holes. So again with the airline, just over the hole and a quick blow, same and the same on that one. Now, once these have been in the diesel and you've cleaned the nozzle, you just want to clean up any grime off them.
this part here you don't really have to worry about too much because that's obviously when the injector's built up that's actually sat outside but the important part is this part and that face is critical so again just a quick wipe off and then we can start to get the other parts out of the diesel one very important thing is to notice the gloves yeah and this diesel would contain carbon and it would contain some very nasty things from the combustion of the diesel the body of the injector all I've done is put an airline through the top to blow out and blow out and then put an airline through the leak off which will clean out from that small hole and then I've gone with the airline again from this side and through the small hole and cleaned off the two holes for the peg for the pegs on this to make sure there's no muck in them and it should be, the injector should be absolutely spotless inside. Got it, nice. Yeah. And that's what you want. Right, the main thing again is cleanliness. So you want to ideally have that sort of sat where you don't really need to touch it once you've put the two washers in. So all I'm doing is clean paper, wipe any bits off. Clean the washers off and then with a tiny bit of diesel on your fingers just wet them to lubricate them sit them on top of each other again a bit more diesel wet them again They're clean now, and all you're going to want to do is drop them in, and you can see that they're both sat flat inside the injector. Your spring, which I've cleaned off in the diesel and then blown it off with the O line, get the injector, the body and pop that spring back in the seat again it's been cleaned and blown off with the uh, line and that just clips in the top of the spring and then the important part is the needle now Mm. Pop. Coming over your shoulder. Okay. I found the easiest thing to do is to pop the nozzle the wrong way round in the bottom section in the sleeve so it'll sit steady. And again, with your spray, you just want to lubricate that needle. Just clean the gloves off. Try not to touch that face, and that literally all you do is pop it in. But when you put it in, be very careful that point is nice and sharp, and it needs to stay that way. So just drop it in. And it should be really, really free. There's no resistance there at all. So we should be able to just ride up and down really easily. So once that's on, you then get this sleeve, this little uh, top part. And again, I'll just lubricate that and make sure there's no grime on it. Two 
two locating pins and that hole here has to line up so you've got your two holes for your pins and this hole here has to line up with that hole there otherwise it won't work properly so you're going to want to make sure that they're lined up that would sit like that so you can see that it's sat nice and flush with the nozzle Next time you scratch your bum, can you make a little sort of groan? That makes it much more interesting. <laughs> so we've already put the spring and the two washers, the two washers in, the spring and the top plate that will locate in the hollow in the countersink. Again, you've got your two holes for the locating pins and your hole of fuel so you want to turn your nozzle and then locate those pins and make sure that the holes line up just like so and then once that's on And make sure there's no rubbish, any bits of grit, and your sleeve, which I've cleaned and blown off with the uh, line to make sure there's no bits that are going to sit underneath the sleeve on this face. So then you just slide that back over. Reassemble the injector. How tight should that be? You want it quite tight. Um, I don't know what the exact torque settings are for them. But there is one. I would assume when they're done in the Bosch factory, there would be one. Um, but you know, there's nothing in the manuals. Now maybe, if it was a newer injector, if it wasn't from an engine that was from the 70s, that the uh, in fact, the uh, data sheets would have the torque settings on it, but unfortunately for this one, we don't have them. So, again, in the vise, in the tube spanner, you can use a long socket if you've got one and sit it that way up. Mm. A little thought, we could actually use the lower hole on the tube spanner for putting a bar in to give you yeah. extra. Yeah. It shouldn't need it. You didn't lubricate the thread? No. There's enough of diesel okay. and stuff on that to uh, lubricate it. So then, once it's in, we're not going too tight with it, but we're going quite tight. And then... Right, I'm going to film how the thread looks, all right? Yeah. So move your arm, move your arm. There. So there's a gap there. There is a slight gap. But if you look, the thread's actually rusty. Mm. So originally, that's where it was tightened up to. Gotcha. Okay. Same on this one. You can see the muck on the threads. So In fact, the whole thing is corroded. Yeah. Um, I think one of the hardest parts is getting actually getting these out of the head. If you've not had them out for a while, or you've just acquired the engine, and you don't know its history, the hardest part can be getting it out of the head. So once you've rebuilt your injector, you're going to want to put it back in the head. On this engine, the leak off sits at the back, like that. And then you'd have your injector clamp, which is your sleeve that sits over with your two bolts. Now there's a torque setting for them, which is in the manual. Now, obviously your engine may be different, but you want to try and stick to that. We've cleaned all the threads.